Hey guys, it's me today. I'm here with my November wrap up. Yay! I'm very late. I'm so sorry. I'm filming this on the 12th of December, so that's already late. And then we'll take all this, we'll go to that. So, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm very, very sorry. Also, just realized that tomorrow is Friday the 13th and explains a lot. And November I managed to read 10 books. Almost all of those were ebooks because I just I've been in a slump <laughs> the entire of November and I'm the only thing that's been getting me to is reading ebooks on like the train or at school. <laughs> Not the best thing, but I've been doing it and yeah. Also a couple of these are like very short, like the last two books I read this month, one is a poetry collection, other one is a, story, is a book told in verse, the first book was also on 100 pages, so yeah, I only read three physical books this month, one is already back at the library, one is at home, and then the other one is here with me, so gonna see a lot of pictures, <laughs> gonna be a pain for me and everything, also this is my laptop, but I can't move you more to the side because then I have to stand on my bed, which is also not the best study. So, yeah. Let's just get started. The first book I read this month is Study With Me, Effective Bullet Journaling Techniques, Techniques, Habits and Hacks to be Successful, Productive and Organized with Special Strategies for Mathematics, Science, History, Languages and More by Jasmine Shaw and Alyssa Yegan. This, honestly, this title, read, <laughs> like one of those, like, wish or like those cheap websites, like their titles, it's like forever, I hate it every single, <laughs> oh my god, okay, so I read this book because Jasmine Chow has a YouTube channel called Study Call, I've been following it for so long, <laughs> and it's just, it's really inspirational, I used, in high school I had like a big hype following study tube channel, so YouTube channels about studying because I just I needed the help you know and that helped me a lot and as kind of the helpfulness started to go away I started unsubscribing to a lot of them because I just wasn't really watching their videos anymore one of those that has stayed is study quill which is actually I think the only one that has stayed because it is I really enjoy her videos They're like very calm pretty aesthetic and it just I don't know it helps you know and when she knows announced that she was going to come out with a book. I was excited for her, but I didn't really necessarily want to read it because I just felt like there was nothing there for me anymore, which is exactly what this book did. But I saw it for free on Nagali, so I requested it. I just thought if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But it happens, and I reviewed it. I gave it four stars because I think this is a great introductory book. I think this it's very great if you just got into high school and you're just like overwhelmed with work and you don't know how to study or how to do things. I feel like this is a very understandable guide of planning because it explains the entire bullet journal system, which I still use and I think is fantastic. And it also gives you like studying tips. So I feel like if you're starting out and you're just overwhelmed with everything, this I feel like would be a great introductory book to get you more familiar familiarized with different techniques now i do have to say that this isn't the end all be all it also encourages you to go switch up things and try to find what fits you and also ask help from teachers which i really enjoyed that they did that so yeah the next book i read is another galley from my kelly that's michigan versus the boy by boys by carrie s allen i don't know originally why I requested this because this is about a girl who is in a hockey team, a girls hockey team and because of budgetary cuts her hockey team gets cut along with the boys swim team and it basically is no way for her anymore to practice hockey and the only thing she can do is join like the younger crew which it doesn't see as a good idea because it isn't really challenging for her, it's easier and the boys team or go out of town different teams which her parents just don't want to do i <laughs> think it's a waste of time because she also has to spend time studying you know and therefore she decides 
to join the boys team or like try out for the boys team and she gets in and it's about hazing and oh, this was work it's five stars like i said i don't know why i originally requested this because i don't like sports book i i don't like sports i don't like reading about sports it's just it's a thing you know so <laughs> i don't know why i did it but i did it i'm glad i did because this is a great and i'm gonna recommend one book of this list that you should definitely read it's this one it does have a couple of trigger warnings for it which i'll leave in the description down below like always so you kind of know what to stay away from but god damn <laughs> yeah i really like our main character i like the love interest and i liked a body of characters i liked the discussion around hazing i liked the discussion around just like sports like how it feels to be in a team and be involved with sports and how when that falls away it isn't just being like oh well I guess I'll do something else it's a part of you falling away which like I said I don't like sports so I've never been in, like that culture of sports and speaking of I think it was well represented and I don't know I just I liked this book a lot then the next book I read is the reason why I got on a slump and that's the end Germany 1945 to 40 I said one is the end Germany 1944 45 by Ian Kershaw I needed to read this for school for an assignment god this was dry boy <laughs> i don't know i had a hard time getting through this one i just i don't want to talk about this book because i spent so much time on it and i don't know okay so the next book i read is amy watches epic detour by morgan Metzen, which i started in october but because this book put me in such a the ends put me in such a reading slump I just didn't get around to finish it until after i finished that book and I gave this 3 out of 5 stars to this book. It's about a girl named Amy whose father has passed away and her brother is in rehab. Her mom decides to move across country and her mom has already moved there because there's also the place where her brother is in rehab. So we just wanted to be there. Well, Amy is finishing her, her senior year in high school and basically she has to get her mother's car and drive it all the way up to but it needs to be, which I forgot what it is. <laughs> because of her, her father died in a car accident, therefore Amy doesn't really feel comfortable with driving anymore. So Amy's mom enlists the help of her best friend's son, whose name is Roger, who also has to get across country because that's where his father lives. So, parents split up. So <laughs> they go on this road trip together that's very strictly planned out by Amy's mother but they very quickly in the side let's just do our own thing <laughs> we've both had a rough year let's have fun this I wanted to read because Morgan Matson is a YA author that I've seen everywhere and I feel like lately it's kind of dying down because there's just more YA contemporary authors that are rising up so yeah but this was one when I first read book two Morgan Matson was talked about a lot and this book in particular because it had like mixed media it has like playlists in it and like diary entries and pictures and receipts and that's very fun i did i say i gave it two or five stars so i really enjoyed this book and i get why people love it i just don't think like some things were done well in the ending like the relationship between amy and her mom kind of goes sour in the middle of the book and it the way it is resolved I don't really like because it, I feel like it isn't really resolved and then also the romance in there was just not well developed the actual book I have with me is The Darkest Star by Jeff Armentrout which is the first book in the origin series I like this five stars and I love this I can't really talk about this much but because the origin series is a spin-off from the Lux series and I think that takes place like two years after the Lux series ends the Lux series is about aliens, let's just say that. I don't really want to explain the entire plot of that series. I did a whole series review on the Lux series, I'll leave that link down below so you can go check it out if you want to know more about it. It's entirely spoiler free as well, but this takes place three years after that. It follows a girl whose father died in the war at the end of that series, which I feel like I can say that because most of my series end with a war. <laughs> And she happens upon meeting Luke, who 
is a character from the Lux series whom I love and when they meet and stuff happens. Non spoilery, you know. This whom I love, this is five stars. Oh my freaking god. Like this is probably my favorite book I read this month, but I wanna recommend this over Michigan vs. the Boys because you have to read an entire series before this and that series I have mixed opinions on. <laughs> That's what was just great. This was what I wanted from the Lexies. This, if you see my review from the Lexies, the first two books I had like were very high enjoyment level but very low quality. The third book was very low enjoyment level and very low quality. But then the last two books were low enjoyment level and high quality. And this was high enjoyment level and high quality. What else do we want? Then Kind of my only problem I have with this is that our main character Evie is kind of annoying at points but it is just kind of a thing I've noticed with most Jennifer Armour protagonists so I guess I'll go with it but oh my god Luke makes my heart weak I love him so much and the romance in this was great the friendships in this were great it was a bit predictable at points but like that didn't take away from my enjoyment at all there were also some like small revelations that came out of nowhere in my brain like there was probably foundation story but i was just like ooh, and yeah i love this then the next book i read was the one from the library and that's my brother's husband volume one by oh god gen god Dagami. i don't know if i pronounced it correctly i'm so sorry but this is a manga series about this guy who married another guy a japanese guy in canada he's a canadian guy married a japanese guy in canada and now his husband has died and decides to and he decides to go visit his family in japan because you know kind of as a way to pay respect to his dead husband so the only family that still left is her husband's twin brother and her his daughter so yeah go with that it's about acceptance really it's about like the daughter immediately like loves this guy and obsessed with him <laughs> and there's only show any prejudices towards him because he's gay but then the twin brother kind of has like has a mental hurdle to overcome and it's precious it deals with some like hard hitting topics with Still very precious and outwarming and sweet and i really want to read the second volume just because i'm curious to see where this goes it is four or five stars though because i feel like plot wise it was lucky but for us this was quite fun the the next book i read is another galley from night galley it has a bonjour girl by isabel la Flesh. i don't know what brands that was at all but this book came out last year <laughs> and i don't know that i'm gonna run for it and then I got the sequel that came out this year like, also when I got it so I decided it was time to read that one and this book is about a girl who has something hap- she's from Paris and something happened to her there which makes her wanted to move and like go to a different school so for college she's now going to like a fashion school in New York instead of Paris because she wants to be a fashion blogger and <laughs> Oh god, it sounds so ridiculous. Okay, but <laughs> just, she moves to New York. Her aunt works at the school, so she goes to live with her aunt. And yeah, she goes to the school and is bullied there again. And it's about her overcoming those bullies. And <laughs> Sorry. And getting a block of her running. That's it. And I didn't like this give this two stars and I hate the fact that I would because of the sequel because it's worse. <laughs> I'm reading it right now. It's worse. But yeah, I didn't like this. This was just very juvenile. And it takes place in college. Like I don't want it to read like it takes place in high school. You know, if it takes place in high school, I would have had so much still would have issues with it, but like a little bit less because it was high school. But it's in college. Like come on, grow up. And I don't know. There was also just like a lot of like high stakes put in place. And those were never really met with you know we were constantly told like oh my gosh this is the hardest school in the world like most people don't date well being in college because it is it's too difficult but we never see her working on schoolwork she immediately falls in love with someone and still is like top of her class and i'm just like 
<laughs> give us expectations and meet them. Don't give us expectations and go way below because that just. <laughs> yeah, and also just the bullying was made to be like the worst thing of the world, which one of them was just literally the person saying, like, her aunt works at the school. <laughs> like, how is that bullying? It's not. <laughs> and the other one. I don't even remember what that was, and in the third one, we saw three tweets, because it was online bullying. We saw three, there were three tweets. Three! That's not bullying. I'm so sorry, but that's not. Which one of was just a fact, not bullying. The second one, I don't even remember. And the third one, we don't even get to see. So... <laughs> yeah, that's just not it, sis. I also never really see those tweets have consequences. The only thing we see is the friends of this person who tweeted this kind of also be like haha because you know they're friends but we never actually see like the outside world reacting to the suit because they're constantly talking about oh my god it's gonna ruin your career let's get lawyers involved i'm just like there's literally we see no consequences of these tweets like nothing is happening <laughs> like how are we supposed to take this seriously when nothing is happening the only thing we see is like oh my god my life is ruined and then that's it and just like the entirety of the book, our main characters made out to be like, oh, such the bigger person, so great. But she over dramatized everything. Like her boyfriend has like a female friends, and then, oh, they go out to dinner together because you know they're friends. And <laughs> immediately the first thought of the stupid girl is, oh my god, is cheating on me? And it was... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it was at all. It's so stupid. I definitely won't recommend it. It's just it's so bad. And yeah, I, I highly regret that when we go to the sequel because it's worse. Next book I read is My Kind of McKinney and the Void of Summer by Nina Chapman, which I believe I also gave three stars. I'm not sure. Might be a three or a four. I think a three. Look at the bottom of the screen. It will be there. This book is about My Kind of McKinney who's like something happened in her life. We don't know exactly what. The only thing we know is that her mother is died. And now she is going to high school, I believe. The summer of her high school. And she moved like across town. Like just the other side of town. Like the town next door. It's not far. Oh yeah, she moves with her dad to kind of have a new start, I believe. I don't know. I don't remember if we were given a reason why they moved. But oh well, <laughs> they moved. And she meets these boys and his girls and have fun and it's about growing up and yeah i think i gave us three stars this comes up comes out in 2020 it's a middle grade novel and i think the best thing about this book is that it promotes being a kid you know not pressuring yourself to grow up too fast or like want too much too fast i like that <laughs> but the thing i don't like is that it villainizes the girls who do who want to grow up who do who are interested in boys who are interested in sex like there's nothing wrong with that you know <laughs> it's my baby cry but also i just feel like i know you gotta take this one with a grain of salt because it's been a while since i've been 13 but i just feel like there was a lot of focus on the main characters like body and it's written by a woman which is already a little bit more less concerning than it was within my man but i just feel like it was just like too much of a focus on how her body was growing up that makes sense then the next book i read is honeybee by tristan mateo which i can they i gave to the five stars or two i don't remember i think three again check the bottom it's always there but yeah this is a poetry collection i read effort i didn't me do it by this author earlier this year and I loved it this also came out that also came out this year this last year this is another one of those guys that I didn't get to yeah I just wanted a quick read and I picked this up and I don't know I didn't like this it didn't really connect with me as much as the other one did I also feel like this is about like a breakup like getting over a breakup and I feel like there was kind of not really that great of a chronology of there being like over it and not over it like it was very mixed up like there was like a poem was like, oh, okay, I'm totally over it. And another poem, the next poem was like, okay, like, why did you leave me? I hate you. I want you back. It's just like, like, I might be the point, but it was just a bit confusing for me. But yeah, next one, The Art of Taxidermy by Sharon Kerner, which I gave one star. This is about a girl who gets into taxidermy. 
that's it. I can tell you about it. I guess one time, my one stars are, you know, books I absolutely despise with my entire being, you know? I only have one of those books <laughs> in my life that I hate so much. I still hate so much. And that was the book I had to read for school, and I'm still so mad about it. But what you gonna do about it? And then the other ones are that I have are just books that just didn't register on this brain of mine, which this book was. It just, I don't know, never catched my attention. I couldn't tell you one thing about this. The only thing I could tell, talk to you about this is that it is about taxidermy. I sold in first. Those were all the books I read in the month of November. I went over those last two pretty quickly, but I also don't have a lot to say about them, so yeah. Uh, if you read any of these books, let me know if you know what you thought of them, as well as what are some of the books you read in November. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Here I am again, the same old situation. What does the gap thing have to be so complicated? Should've